it's JP with Slug Magazine. We're doing another edition of Localized. It's our 21st birthday. We got DJ Flash and Flare and uh, Muscle Hawk on the scene. And also, two gentlemen from Laser Fang. Bill, this mammoth tonight. Uh, what's going on with that? Where's the mammoth Laser Fang connection happen? So, we were all playing in Laser Fang, and then our drummer quit on us. And we had some important shows booked. We didn't want to give them up. So, me and Shane put a quick set together from songs that I had from the old band Mammoth with Chris and LaForce and then we so we had the set and then we're like this could use some bass or some saxophone so we got Steven Weston from Laser Fingin on it and then we had that different set and then we were playing both and then we got a new drummer for Laser Fing, so we're playing two, two different bands. Here's the deal. And now we just merged them. I, well, yeah, but I, I came to the fact that like, the same people are doing two different projects is dumb. You know? So you combine four. So why not just make it one set, you know? Like, they, but Laser Fang has been around for about nine years now, wouldn't you say? Uh, around How long? Uh, a couple five. years. A couple years? A couple, uh, couple years. Four at least. Laser Fang? Four years? Maybe. Dude, I've been the laser thing for one year. Okay. Two and a half years at least. Uh, well, it's Whatever. been a long time coming. A long time coming. But not nine years, not four years. No, at most four or five with... I don't know. I mean, That's I'm, okay. We had semantics. We've been playing music together for a long time. Okay. Yeah. What it comes down to is a group of people making music. We had two projects going on and I was like, look, what's the point of... This one group of people splitting our time to make two things when we can make one thing. So we had like, and when I came to that decision, I approached everybody about it. I was like, we already had shows booked under Laser Fang. We had shows booked under Mammoth, like this one. Yeah. So, but everyone agreed. Like, you know, if we're all gonna hang out together and make music, well, uh, shit. Just put our energy into one. It should be one thing, and so that's what we do. So we're laser fang. We're laser fang. We're, we're really bummed really because the slug article about mammoth was right after we made yeah. the, that decision. Yeah. And so it's kind of a it's kind of a thing where like, yeah, tonight we're mammoth, but really it's laser fang. We just cut a record, and it's going to be called mammoth. Okay. Just to sort of. Yeah, just to make that clear. To pay homage to the mammoth, like, because mammoth is a beautiful thing, but what is beautiful about it is that those two things coming together is actually really awesome. Like, I think that it's going to make us, like, so much more uh, congenial and, like... And the reason there was any discretions about merging the two is because the mammoth songs were, were all written by me and you, you right, know? Right, right. It was a two-party thing, and now we have, like, all these people... But everybody's accepted it. You know, yeah. and taking it. And it really is the same style because it's just the same people. Well, how could it not be the same style? You know what I mean? So here we are. There's Laser Fang. We're going to put a record out called Mammoth. And uh, we're just going to go from there. Uh, Alright, so that was question one. That was question one and an excellent question. Hold on one, hold on one second. We, um, I think that they may be starting the next set. Let me. Okay. Fuck. I'm supposed to be up there right now. It's okay. Um, thing, buddy. Let's uh, let's tag it real quick. Where can people find out more information about Laser Fang? Through us. Okay. I, like, I know that, Slug and City Weekly. Yeah, other other bands like we we're, we're like the most like ground roots style. I we have a little bit of things on the internet, but for the most part, I just rather you come see our our name playing a show and come see us. We'd like to get a response first before we push ourselves. I, I really don't want to push it. Like I when really people think people start music... demanding that we have a website and stuff, that's what we'll do. We're not going to do that part first. We're going to do that. Yeah, yeah. but I don't like to sum up. Okay, cool. But there's a new album coming out. When's that coming out? Next couple of months. We're going to press it to vinyl. It should be about two months. Two months is the very most. At the most, two months, yeah. It's already done tracks, so all we have is got to kind of finish it up and put it down. All right, excellent. Thanks for joining us, guys. It's been another edition of Slug. Uh, thanks, Angela. Yeah, give your shout outs. Yeah, it's for sure. Angela is amazing. Slug has what? done so much for us. Come in. Come in here. I don't even know. This, for Will, I don't know this guy, but come in here. <laughs> I'm getting this video. I'm here right now. All right, I don't Thanks again. Angela took us under her wing. Yeah, her wing. Well, Angela's an amazing person, for one. 
Like, we had played one show, and sh- then she asked us to headline yeah. for the craft Sabbath thing. I know. Like, and that was amazing experience. We were like, that was fun. Wait. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And Angela is the shit. I mean, obviously, the coolest. Yeah, we lady, love Salt like, Lake City. Hard working. I, I respect her hard work. Like, putting shit together, like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I agree. And she's amazing. So, shout outs to Angela. It might as well be her birthday. All right, admittedly. Thank you. Uh, Check out more videos at slugmag.com.